Champions of the realm, a year has passed. Six new champions have joined since to lay waste to the battlefields. From the Ico Tundra to the Abyss, the world's expanding, the roster increasing, and your legendary plays are recording. With over a hundred new plays archived, we picked our favorites for the top ten plays. Today is the day these players earn the real title of Paladin. Oh god, I hope I'm saying this right. Chiqui Makovic takes a step outside. Khan telekinetically grabs them. Well, time to meet our maker. Or is it? Well, we're back. Make that a double dash out of spite. Ultimate revenge total karma. Chiqui Makovic style. If Paladins had a mascot, I think it would be Makoa. Spinning around in Water's Gate, Endo has got one thing on his mind. Hello, Lian. Ah, uh, bye, Lian. It's a shootout in this beautiful room for a Maldama. Can't confirm damage through the shield and healing. Maeve has a little go, but won't stay long. Also, avoids the same fate as Lian. Very smart play from the enemy. Endo's team gains some ground for the payload. And now we're just staring at a wall. Oh, Maldamba! Using the ears to fish with hook and sing and then turns to Bora for some cannonball Z. She's a little elusive but eventually falls Leanne again, regretting getting up close and personal right as the shield wore off. Another hook! A long range one on Maldamba! It's red versus blue, Sonic versus Knuckles, Mario versus blue Mario in those unstoppable and still looking for more hooks. Oh, he gets one but this one dies before the fall. You know, from this angle, I never realized how thin a barrier of time distortion could be. Our boat is poking from the side. It's harder to shoot like this than from above, though. At last, downed Atlas. Moving up in the world over to Genos. Double check that health. Boat is low, but very much still good to go. A spray of confidence. How are you gonna fight against Tiberius? He's no healer. He can fight back, or can he? Boat disposes of them, too. Dancing around the room. Back outside for a little Androxus pick-me-up. Bouncing chakras around in stone keep. Zika falls back and creates some space away from his team. That blade dancing ultimate is ready to go. Blue team finding up down the road. It's a double dash to get behind them. Then up on the ledge for some abusive alternative strikes. Cutting that jump time. I don't think he meant to do that, did you, Zika? That's a survivor. Zika pings for a ricochet. That's a different kind of pentakill. It's a one-handed tank battle. Maybe if they had something in the other hand, they'd do more damage. These two have got nothing better to do right now, so we might be here a while. I was backing up Torvald. Oh, in a chokehold! Dumps him into the water! Good shot! Turning over to the payload again. A lot of enemies, not many allies. Here comes Pepper. Pip boldly enters the room, throws her by the throat, and drowns her too! Now Koga's in, and he's furious, straight into Cyclone Strike. Skeeton absorbs it, pushes through the pain. Another one! For the stew? What the hell are we making? A new player joins Terminus. Press a start. Also, we've got Tiberius helping us, and it's about damn time because Skeetson's getting low. Terminus wisely gets his butt to the door. Skeetson having difficulty figuring out where the allies are. They were here just a second ago. The cracks showing in the shield. Terminus not letting go, so Skeetson grabs them and lets them go. Well, that's four people in that drink. Then there's Io, who's just gonna be normal and get killed by regular bullets. I hope you've got your tubers covered because we're going way up high. Looks a little tricky to pull this trickety trick off, but once we're there, we're gonna drop the baritone. 
control. Well, slicing up a double flip and pitching it up to a triple. Leanne will be the final boss. Bullets are trading. She takes cover. Tuba dashes to the side, has to repeat the process, but gets the fourth and final kill. A thousand push-ups says you can't do that again. Yeah. Making a move on no, Stone man. Keep. There's a lot of focus on Khan up ahead, allowing Ark to get some safe shots in. Now that Khan's down, Ark's in. Massive amounts of spread damage. Resets are on. Enlightenment picks up Imani. Sliding back to get an angle into the gate room, executing the healers, looking for their sanctuary over time. Almost ran out. Ark sliding through the point, resetting the timer, keeping this play in motion. Fernando and Rahm. <laughs> They're just remnants. That was fast. So far, Zilv's team lacks control over the capture point. Arriving to the battle, engages on two targets inside the giant crane saw room. Not quite the right angle of approach, so backs off. And Drox is performing similar tricks, takes a little pop. Looks like a kill opportunity, but there's many enemies around him. Zilv blinking in, flying over. Oh, they got Androxus! Who are they going for now? Grover planted into the ground, back on the guitar. Rides it to the other side. Ash takes a blast, executes Vivian from behind. Walking is for chumps, located. Fernando, what awareness and a pentakill! Leona Lewis, but that's a lawyer sounding name. She wanders the desert with her magical lawyer powers, gliding and grinding against the wall away from Vora and assisting Furia. Book is smelted. Ice blast sent to midfield. Oh no! At least Furia is avenged. Time to summon the legendary Zodiac, Rathalos Ash is getting crispy! <laughs> Very crispy. Slowly making that terrifying way to the middle of the war zone. When you see this thing flapping its wings, you run, you hide, or you be Barrett, or you find Leona Lewis and force her to cancel! Fast reaction saves her hide! Still got the Barrett before escaping, though, know, there's the culprit. It was Book! Furia gave Leona a good heal and. Now she's just gonna sit herself down here and act like a goddamn cannon! Ice bomb overhead, this is just outstanding damage from a backline position on Amani. The team's gonna get in there and wrap this up! Flame Ray burning Barrett shield down, looks like the team's pushing in now. Book again? Quick escape, trying to find environmental shot blocks and dropping into the heat of the action. Leona Lewis is so flexible! We're killing everyone two or three times over. There's no no question about it, Leona Lewis is a legend! Fernando topping the charts. Well, you know he must have done something special to get here. Standing his ground when a book just falls out of the sky. Get some flames on those muscles. Feel the burn. If it's not hurting, you're doing it wrong. And right now, Hunk is hurting. Oh, good ears. Blocks in the end. Powerful shot. Back on the point with Corvus lending electrical assistance. It's a war zone down here, but Hunkaluga is still standing immortal. It's going to take a lot to get him off the point. <laughs> yeah, like that, but cancel on the knockback with a dash of their own. Getting bounced all over the place. Honk wants to take a breather up the stairs. Could use a little healing. Furia will deliver. Then Honk's back in. He is the embodiment, the very definition of tank itself. He gets knocked out, but he gets back in again. You ain't never going to keep him out. Look at this surround. Where do you point your shield? This time round, Honk gets absolutely hammered. Getting knocked out works to their advantage as they needed that disengage. The enemy is pretty peeved that Fernando is still alive. Honk works their way back round to the zone, getting some flamethrower time up. Red team have reached overtime. Hunk doesn't want to let this happen. Blue team's damage is very specific. A couple of snipers on the high ground that Hunk cannot protect. He needs to be right here, dedicated entirely to the cap zone. Feet on the ground. Life is being drained. Can only rely on Corvus for healing, and he is providing as much as he is able to. They just don't give up. I've never experienced anything this tense in Paladins. Getting rammed multiple times. Another dash counter it's shield on shield action, and that action is dwindling. It looks like Hunk has finally done it. Whew. That's it for now. Let's do this again next year.
The link to submit your play is in the video description below. Contact me on discord.me forward slash Toki if you need help claiming your bounty, submitting a play of your own, or you want to find some guys, gals, and non-binary pals to hang out with. My name's Anuki, and I can't wait to see what you can do.